I'm going to show you how you can run extensions from mini extensions from within Airtable. So you'll be on this screen here where you get uh, here from this button and then you can copy the script by clicking here. And what, what this does is it gives you a script that you can install as a scripting block in Airtable. And then every time you run that scripting block, that mini extensions job gets triggered. So let's add a block and then select the scripting block and then click install. I'll install it there. And then I will just paste that code here and this will be, um, this is personalized code for that one extension that you are on when you hit, click the, uh, on copy. And let's go ahead and run this. So when you run this, it'll take a few minutes most of the time for you to start seeing um, records change here. But if, if you don't see any changes at all, then please go back to mini extensions just in case there's an error. Like if there was an error while running it, you would see that error over here. But in most cases, it's expected that it would take like, let's say two to three minutes or something like that for the results to start showing up. So the extension here got triggered. And as you can see, the longitude and latitude got filled. Now, one of the cool things about having the mini extensions in the scripting block is that you can actually trigger it with Airtable's automations, which means you can, for example, trigger it every time a new record gets created, right? So I'm going to demonstrate how you would do that. So you go to automations, click new automation. And this is, I think, an, uh, a, a pro account only feature for Airtable. But if you click on automations here and then select a trigger, then I can say one record created and then select the table here, which is address that one. And then I'll click done. And then I'll add the action and that will be running a script. And then I still have that script from earlier. I'll paste it here and I'll do finish editing and be done and switch that on. So let's try it out now. I'm going to create a record and add that there. There you go. So it takes a while for, for the job to finish up, but the idea is you can set up these automations and link them to that script and then the script can run whenever you'd like.